Hey guys, Kat here from Standing Stone and I have an exciting pup date for you guys. And the puppies are awake. Hey guys. Hi all you super cuties. So this is Grit's litter, and if you watched our last video on the Grit and Muddy puppies, we talked about surrogating and why we went ahead and surrogated these litters. Hi guys! Um, so Grit ended up having nine puppies, and Muddy, who had her puppies just three days after her, had only three puppies. So we ended up surrogating three of Grit's puppies onto Muddy, and we showed that whole process of how we evaluated which puppies to choose and how we introduced the new puppies to the new mamas and all of that good stuff. So I would highly recommend checking out that video. But I wanted to give you an update on how that process has been going. So the Grit puppies are four weeks old now and they are just about to start puppy mush today. I'm gonna to show you that process with them. But they are um, fat and sassy and have been eating good. I'm gonna show you, come here buddy. Here's a little puppy puppy, yeah. This little girl, Gamora, she's nice and hefty. She's been eating good. All of them really have been. They are stout little puppies. We keep weekly weights and information on the puppies so that we can monitor weight gain, which is really important in this process. Um, it definitely was important with the grit puppies, but even more so with the muddy puppies because we moved three puppies onto her litter and we wanted to make sure that those puppies were still gaining weight well, not being neglected by any means with mama. So we're keeping track of those weights and all of the grit puppies that are still with grit are all in that five pound range. So doing really, really well at four weeks old. And I wanna give you a little peek at these guys. Hello. Hello. So this is our superhero litter. We've got Iron Man and we've got, oh, hi Thor. And we've got your little Gamora. And then we've got Hulk back there sleeping, <laughs> Captain sleeping and Loki sleeping in the back or relaxing. So we've got my attention puppies. Oh yes, oh tip top. My attention seeking puppies and my sleepy puppies. And let me give you a little up close view of these guys. So they're doing really good. Oops, get my finger out of there. These guys are all doing really good. You are, oh yeah. And then we've got our three sleepy heads in the back. But you can see all of them look great weight wise. Nice, healthy puppies. Awesome job guys, and Grit's doing an excellent job of feeding them and taking care of these guys. So as you can see, these puppies are doing great. They're super content, sleeping in the back, getting attention at the front. Uh, their weight looks great. Grit has done an excellent job nursing them, feeding them, and keeping them clean and well taken care of. And that's exactly what we want to see out of a litter, which means these guys at four weeks old are going to be starting puppy mush today. And I'm going to show you what that looks like when I add them to the muddy litter. But first, I want to go show you what the muddy puppies look like. Here we are now with the muddy puppies. And as you can see, there's actually two dividers in here because these little guys are little escape artists. So I'm gonna pull this out so you can see these guys a little bit better. As long as you guys don't start toppling right out, yeah. So the muddy puppies and the three grit puppies are in here together. They are a little bit smaller, which was why we had chose the three puppies that we did from grit's litter to come on over to muddy's litter. And um, you can see that they still are a little bit smaller. If I look at my puppy weight chart for Muddy's litter, as well as the three puppies from Grit's litter, these guys are all in the four pound range. So uh, these puppies are about a pound smaller than Grit's puppies. And when I get them all eating together for their first round of puppy mush, you're probably gonna see that um, size difference a little more clearly than just seeing them here. But even though these guys are a little bit smaller, they have been a little more adventurous trying to get out of the whelping box. So we've actually added that second divider to keep them in here. 
Um, and they are happy to get the attention up here. Everyone was napping when I came in, but now they're all ready to get some attention. So I'm gonna show you what they look like here. Look at all you guys, happy little puppies, looking over the top, hanging out in the back. Gonna go find a spot to potty maybe. Yeah, we're still in that potty phase with puppies, puppies all the time. But I think all of these guys are probably ready to be in a playpen and have some puppy mush for the first time. So I'm gonna get these guys moved over to the puppy pen, get my puppy mush mixed up, which we have lots of videos showing how we start this puppy mush process. So I'm not gonna bore you with the details. You can definitely check out one of those other videos, but I'm gonna get them out in their new puppy pen, get everything set up and show you what they look like all together. So that will be a big group of puppies. There'll be 12 of them all playing in a pen together and eating together for the first time. And we'll evaluate that process. And if we need to make adjustments to how they're eating, if we need to separate them, if we you need to adjust the amount of puppy mush, all those things we'll be able to evaluate and I'll help walk you through that while we're watching it happen. And if you can hear some puppies playing and barking in the background, that's the Piper Litter. They're seven weeks old and they are full of puppy energy. So let me get these guys moved over and we'll show you the next step. New puppy pen all set up for you guys to play and socialize in a little bit. New stuff, huh guys? Looks a little different than your Welpin box. Not a lot different though. Okay, so those first six puppies are the puppies from the Grit Litter that are still with Grit. These next three puppies, here you go. Nebula, Hawkeye, and little baby Drax. These puppies are also from the grit litter, but they're the puppies that were surrogated with Muddy. And you can see they are a little bit smaller. This is the first time that they have socialized and interacted since we separated them out. So I'm gonna kind of watch and evaluate how they do together, doing a lot of sniffing. But we wanna make sure that they play properly and interact properly. And I'm gonna go grab the three Muddy puppies to add to the mix. Okay, so now I'm gonna add the muddy puppies to the mix. We've got clay and loam and silt. My litter theme, if you will, is mud and dirt. And I'm gonna watch again how those puppies interact. But you can see a little bit of a size difference. Um, those puppies that have been with grit are Fat and sassy, kind of little roly-poly puppies. And um, Grit has always been an incredible milk producer. Uh, she can care for nine puppies, no problem, but it does tax her system quite a bit when she does. And we want her to stay as healthy as possible through this process um, and not stress her body too much to produce enough milk for nine fat and sassy puppies. So this way we were able to even out the load on the mamas. So they're gonna play around a little bit. And while they do that, I'm gonna get some puppy mush made. Here's a few fun puppy toys, guys. Instead of the crate. There you guys go. There you go. you're gonna get oh that's some good stuff huh we got some interest right away this is gonna be a mess I can tell you that already let me hop in here and help puppies get arranged around the outside of the pan yes go into town that's good come on babies let's spread out and pull the pan a little over here so we can get everybody situated around 
The Piper puppies think that they need some puppy mush, which they don't. They've already had their whole kibble meal since they're seven weeks old. Spread you guys out just a little bit more. There you go, get on in there. That is awesome. Everybody's interested in eating. That's exactly what I want to see. So this is their first time eating puppy mush. So it's always a guessing game to start out with, how well the puppies will do the first time, how much they're going to need. Uh, it definitely decide, depends on a lot of variables, including the size of the puppies, the size of the litter, the age of the puppies when you truly start puppy mush, um, and the puppies' overall interest in eating. These guys have all been obviously really good eaters, nursers at least, with Mama Grit and Mama Muddy. So they're definitely interested in eating. Uh, they're a little bit older to be starting puppy mush. Sometimes we'll start puppy mush as early as three weeks with litters that potentially need a little extra help for weight gain. But these guys, like you can see, are all super fat and sassy. <laughs> we got Loki running around the outside. He might be done already, which is just fine. They'll eat until they're no longer interested. Uh, we've got all of them just nose diving their meals, which I love to see. Oh, yeah, yep. Yeah. And now he's getting excited. So we will let them continue working on this for a little bit longer until they are about full and looking a little less interested. I'll evaluate how much puppy mush is left and then be able to evaluate if I'm going to increase or decrease the amount of food. And if I need to change the consistency at all, I can evaluate that as well. But it truly looks like these puppies are doing a great job. I did end up using three cups of Yukonuba large breed puppy food ground into a fine powder. And then I ended up using two full cups of Espelac puppy milk replacer with four cups of hot water. And then I added one extra cup of hot water just to help with consistency because it was a little thick. So I liked the consistency of that for these aged puppies and they did a great job. They've got little puppy teeth in their head. There were no hard crunchy kibble pieces. It was all a fine powder that just turned into a uh, fairly soupy paste and they nose dived it. Now that they're kind of slowing down a little bit, uh, half and half slowing down but I am going to go ahead and grab Grit and Muddy to let them come in and clean up a little bit of the puppy mush as well as socialize with all of the puppies together. Lick those puppies, clean them up. They've got a little bit of mush face going on. And then we will be able to also show you their body condition and how they both look healthy weight-wise as mamas. There you go, Muddy. Grit, Grit. Come around here. Muddy's like, I can help finish up that food. Grit, you too? Good job, mamas. And as you can see, both Mama Muddy and Mama Grit look great weight-wise. Happy to be in there helping out with that puppy mush. I think that's the mama's favorite part of starting puppy mush, the leftovers. And maybe the little bit of less stress on them from a nursing standpoint. Puppies say, we can deal with a moving nurse bar. Now, because these puppies are surrogating on each other's litters, they are also nursing on Muddy, most of them right now, and then some of them will nurse on Grit as well. And going back and forth at this point is just fine with these puppies, and the mamas do a great job helping take care of both litters now. As you can see, these two mamas get along very well, have very easy, even temperaments. They are happy to share in the responsibilities of taking care of these puppies, share in the leftovers, and do a great job taking care of their babies.
I hope you guys enjoyed this update of the two litters, both Muddy's litter and the few puppies she's surrogating from Grit's litter and the remaining puppies that are staying with Grit. These puppies are kind of going back and forth, nursing on Mama Muddy, nursing on Mama Grit, which is why we're gonna continue to keep them separated. Some will be with Muddy, the same puppies that she's been taking care of over the last four weeks. And then the same six puppies that Grit's been taking care of over the last six weeks will still remain with her in their whelping boxes. But but when we are doing socializing time of the puppies out playing as well as out eating together, they'll all be together as one big giant puppy litter of a happy family. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this pup date and we will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.